Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back in OCRP Server 2 and back as Bradley Nature. Now if you remember, last time we saw Bradley, he had set the Cluckin' Bell on fire down in Davis in protest of how they treat the chickens. And then he got in a long pursuit where he ended up stealing a cop car and getting tased. So today he's serving his punishment. Lucky for him, his dad was able to work out a pretty sweet deal for him. He made it so Bradley only has to serve some community service and no jail time at all. But that's still not enough for Bradley. His first assignment is to clean up the litter around Sandy Shores, and he still feels that he needs to call the cops because it's cruel and unusual punishment. But before we get into it, make sure to like the video if you like it, comment down below with what you think Bradley should do next, and subscribe for more content like this. Now, let's see what this cop thinks about Bradley's claims that it's inhumane punishment. <laughs> Hey, it's Mozart, I'm Terrible Blank Cashier, so you're trying to file a complaint? <laughs> it's inhumane. What's inhumane? Everything. Okay, can you be a little bit more specific? Is there a, is there a law being broken that you're trying to report on? Well, just look at me. Look at me. I'm wearing this ugly thing, <laughs> and, and it's just nasty, and they're making me wear it, <laughs> and they're putting me in danger of a fly-by car like that, <laughs> and they're making me pick up dirty, dirty, dirty dress. <laughs> okay, are you on probation or something, and that's why they're making you clean up? <laughs> I understand you're upset, but I need you to answer my questions. Are you on probation, or are you on a court mandated that you have to clean up the trash? I got community service. Okay, so you got community service. So you got trouble uh -huh. with the law, and then this is your punishment? Uh-huh. Okay. Do you have a, um, a probation officer or community service oversight overseer that I can contact to... Uh, to figure out what exactly you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, he's a local, but he's really good at texting back. Okay, so he's a local. All right, well, um, I'm going to make a phone call. Um, I, I see you wrote your, his number down, so I'm going to make him a call. I'm going to call him real fast. Or What's his name? Or what's her name? Their name? <laughs> Their name is Steve. Steve, all right, I'm going to give Steve a call. and uh, Put him in jail. <laughs> Do what? He's in jail? No, you need to put him in jail. He's making me work inhumanely. And this is cruel and unusual. But him. <laughs> okay. Um, how old are you? Was it Brian? How old am I? Oh, three. So. I'm not. I'm not. 18. Okay, so you're 19. Uh huh. Alright. And it's Bradley. <laughs> Bradley. My apologies, Bradley. Um, I, I heard your name over the radio, so it was a little bit garbage. But, uh, okay, Bradley. Well, do me a favor and uh, just kind of stand by here by your car. I'm going to call your I'm gonna call your CO, the community service officer, and see exactly what you're supposed to be doing and make sure that it's not inhumane, that she's not breaking any laws by having you do it, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Mr. All right, Bradley, do me a favor. Stand up. Alright, I'm gonna need you to. I'm gonna need you to drop the tears. Just, just for a minute, okay? Okay. Okay. So, so this is what we call responsibility. Um, I just got off the phone with Steve. Alright, he says that he comes by and You're taking him to jail, right? right? No, he's, what, what he's doing is not illegal. What? Uh, he's yes, it is. Following a court order because what? you did something that was illegal. So now you have to own up and accept your consequences for your action. <laughs> it's probably a new concept, but this is what we call adulthood. It sucks, but when you do the wrong thing, you have to deal with the punishment. So. Buck up. You know, if you need to cry, cry, that's fine. But 
you're not you're not being inhumanely treated. You're not being mishandled in any way. Um, like you said you you've got some readily accessible water. He checks on you regularly, so he's not doing anything wrong. He's following what the judges ordered on him. Um, so you're just gonna have to suck it up. What? You know? Yeah. You're no. Just gonna have to. I I know that's a hard concept, but you're gonna have to buck up, like I said. Just. Do the work, get your hours, once you're done, take the lesson that comes with this, and stay out of trouble. Don't get caught. You don't have to repeat this, okay? Yeah, I learned not to get no, caught. Not get, no. No, mm -hmm. you shouldn't do it in the first place, because myself and my other officers are really good at our jobs, and we pride ourselves in stopping people. So, the lesson here is is to not do crimes if you don't want to do the time. That officer that left his car unlocked didn't do a good job. Oh, uh, so you tried to steal a police car? <laughs> no. I did try. I did. I almost got away. Uh, so you, you stole a police car. <laughs> Maybe. I borrowed it. <laughs> <laughs> I just borrowed it for a second, and then they shot at me. <laughs> and then, and then my daddy, my daddy said that I could get 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 away with it, and, and he 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 get me out of any jail time. But then, man, then the main judge made me pick up dirty trash. Well, it's better than where you could be. You could be spending the next five to ten in Bolingbrook wearing drab orange with a bunch of guys who want to make you their special friends. I like friends. Oh, I got lots of friends. Of friend. Yeah, these guys don't really so much want to be your friends. You just said they're my special friends. But they want to make you their special friend. And then they'll pass you around for cigarettes. I don't even smoke. Oh, it's it's the cigarettes aren't for you. They'll um what what's a good way to put this? Um, so they have this currency in prison where they use cigarettes cuz they don't make money. Um, and then trade and sell in um favors of a particular kind of individuals that may or may not consent to some favors. So, so they like, they take my lunch bunny? Like, like that? Uh, <laughs> worse than taking your lunch bunny. My, my dinner money? <laughs> well, the, so, so you Daddy's allowance? Uh, well, you won't have money in jail, so they won't take that from you. <laughs> so I need you to see the bright side of the situation. <laughs> you know, it's a nice, pretty, warm day. It's not too hot, not too cold. There's a slight breeze. You know, you're not locked in an 8x10 with another guy who may or may not like you and or want to kill you. <laughs> Kill me! I was died for the 200 times the other day. And then the well, cop shot at me. And it hit her my feelings. Well, unfortunately, your feelings are, are irrelevant. Contrary to what your daddy told you. Um, you but my, break the but, law, you have to serve the time. But my daddy's always right. Mm, I doubt that. Um, so, what I'm gonna need you to do... Before you violate your community service terms, I need you to pick up this trash. So that way, you can go back home or wherever you're staying, and you can finish these days and get those done, because if you don't, then you're going to go to jail. What? No! I'm, I'm not going to jail! Well, if you get over there, if you buck up like I said, dry up your tears, or hell, if you need to if you need to cry while you do it, but you get over there, you pick up the trash like you were told, once you finish that, whatever other tasks they have, 
They'll get that done, and then you'll be able to go home for the night, and you'll get to sleep and eat and do whatever you want. And then you come out here and you do it the next day, and then you do it for as many times as you need to. And then once you're done, that's it. You can throw the vest away. You don't have to come back out here and pick up no more trash. And then you can stay out of trouble with the law, and you don't have to worry about doing it again. <laughs> okay. All right. So no more calling 911 or no more calling the sheriff's office. Like I said, he's he's well within the confines of his job. So buck up, get that trash picked up so you can go home, so you can enjoy your meal, spend some time with your daddy, and then you can come back tomorrow, do the same thing, and then next thing you know, you'll be done with your hours and you'll be free of this house. <laughs> okay. Okay, all right, Bradley, we'll get to it. I'm going to stop taking up your time. You have a wonderful day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These uh, firefighters don't know. I'm going to park it right in front of the brush truck. That's what I'm going to do. Ha <laughs> 
You killed me. I have to. They made me. I have to pick up the trash. The mean police officer had to pick up the trash. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go to jail because you took back the trash. It's not trash, my property. It is trash. I was told to pick up the trash. Again. I'm dead! <laughs> what is your problem? Get out of my house! I have to pick up the trash next to the fire station. This is not a place to pick up trash. Get out of my house! I have to! The court said so! I'm gonna push you one more time out of my house if you don't do it! <laughs> Pick up the trash. The police officer said I had to, and and the and the mean and the mean and the mean judge told me I had to, and now he pushed me over and I died. You're doing community service. Uh huh. Okay. How old are you? I'm. I'm <laughs> hey, someone's taking my car. Hey, that's my car. That's my car. Hey! That's my god! <laughs> that's my car! It's my car! They took my car. That's my car. Do you need something to drink? You hungry? <laughs> I don't want to pick up trash anymore. Who told you to pick up trash? <laughs> the mean judge. The mean judge. Okay. Uh huh. What are you having to do this for? No. <laughs> I have to do it for another nine days. Another nine days. Okay. Well. It just went through all, it just, it's early morning, so I'm pretty sure you do get some type of rest, right? <laughs> yeah, but I took it when I called 911. Oh my god! Alright, what's your name? <laughs> it's Bradley. Bradley, right, what's your last name, Bradley? <laughs> Nature. Alright, so it says here that you're on community service, okay. <laughs> this is the worst day of my life. Okay, is there, do you need to go back to the, like, are you still, I'm assuming, released on just doing this, or, because what's your whereabouts, is it the prison, or are you out on probation? I live at home. At home, or what's your home? It, it, it's in Rockford. Rockford, okay. And he took my car. We understand that, but you can't be going over to that man's property. But they told me to clean up all around the fire station and the, and the medical center and the police car and that's all I had to clean up. It was on the paperwork and I didn't know I was out. It was next to the fire station and they made me clean it up and they told me I had to clean it up and then he pushed me and he shoved me and I went to the ground and I'm dead. You're, you weren't dead. I was dead. Okay, well, <laughs> is there a way to get your taxi to send you home? <laughs> yeah, I'll take a taxi home. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm pretty sure we can get you one called, so. That's the mean officer that told me I had to clean up. Over well, there. He's doing his job. I mean, the judge was. You were ordered to do it. <laughs> so. We'll get a taxi.
back to you down here for you, and they can take you home. <laughs> okay. And with that, Bradley's terrible day of community service was over. What's not over, though, is seeing Bradley in OCRP. But that's going to do it for today's video. Remember to like, comment, and share this video, and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so that you can make sure that I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.